the long-awaited Raven Ridge desktop ABUs have finally been unveiled. Plus, Ryzen 3 mobile variants are here, so stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before we get started, don't forget to check out the GamerMeld Discord server, a place to talk all things hardware and gaming. Okay, let's get right into it. AMD has officially announced their desktop Raven Ridge APUs, and at least for the price, they're pretty incredible. So far, they've only announced two variants, the Ryzen 5 2400G and the Ryzen 3 2200G. The Ryzen 5 2400G is a 4-core 8-thread CPU with a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost of 3.9, while the Ryzen 3 2200G is 4 cores and 4 threads with a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a boost of 3.7. Both come with 6MB cache, RAM support up to DDR4-3200, and a TDP of 65 watts. Both CPUs are pretty nice, but the biggest difference seems to come in at the GPU level. The Ryzen 5 2400G comes with the much-rumored Vega 11 that sports, you guessed it, 11 Vega compute units, while the Ryzen 3 2200G only has Vega 8. Not only that, but Ryzen 5's Vega integrated GPU is clocked at 1250 MHz versus the 1100 MHz for Ryzen 3's Vega 8. Luckily, both chips are unlocked so they can be overclocked, and according to WCCF Tech, they're hearing that the Vega integrated chip can actually overclock beyond 1500 to 1600 MHz. That's definitely an impressive feat. But hold on, we aren't done yet. AMD has also given us a few gaming benchmarks. But keep in mind that these are coming directly from the company, so they almost certainly represent a best case scenario. As you can see, they're pitting the Ryzen 5 2400G up against the i5-8400's integrated graphics processor, which is Intel's UHD 630. And unsurprisingly, the 2400G's Vega 11 handily beats Intel's integrated solution by nearly double every time and upwards of three times the performance in Witcher 3. Not only that, but according to 3D Mark Spy, the Ryzen 5 2400G is on the same level of performance as the i5-8400 paired with an NVIDIA 1030. When it comes to CPU performance, AMD opted to compare price to performance, which makes sense considering the 8400 almost certainly beats it in multi-threaded workloads given its clocks. With that said, for a nice HTPC that can handle esports games at decent frame rates, these are a fantastic bargain. The Ryzen 5 2400G comes in at $169, with the Ryzen 3 2200G beating the $100 mark at just $99 US. The official launch date for these APUs is just February 12th, so definitely be looking out for them. Next up for today, while staying on AMD, the company also announced their upcoming Ryzen 3 mobile chips. For those who don't know, AMD's Ryzen 5 and 7 mobile variants have already made their way to market, but we haven't really heard anything on Ryzen 3. Until now. They've announced two variants, the Ryzen 3 2300U and the Ryzen 3 2200U. Given these are U variants, they're designed as low power processors made for ultra thin and 2-in-1 laptops. The 2300U is a 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU that comes in a base clock of 2GHz and a boost of 3.4 while the 2200U is only a 2-core 4-thread CPU with a base clock of 2.5 GHz and a boost of 3.4. The 2300U comes with 6 Vega Compute units, while the 2200U only has 3. Both of these chips are expected to make their way onto laptops and notebooks within Q1 of this year, but they specifically said, quote, expected, so who knows when they'll actually be here. Maybe I do. No, I, I don't. I, I know nothing. <laughs> So how that does it for today. What did you think of the news? Excited to get your hands on an inexpensive Ryzen 3 powered laptop or just pumped to make an inexpensive PC? Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld so you can keep up with all the gaming hardware news your heart desires. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming and as always, have a great day.